Right. <coughs> okay, so I just want to share something with you. Um, I'm fitting um, Carl's X End upgrade. It's the um, I'll put a link on the YouTube video, but it's the Raphael um, X End, which are these ends, upgrade for the uh, Makabot uh, Replicator 2 series. Um, I've also got Carl's um, aluminium carriage on here, which is um, aluminium, as you can see. Um, it's a replacement for the Makabot uh, plastic one. Um, one thing I found when I first fitted this, because I fitted this on the original machine, the carriage, the aluminium carriage, was it's very difficult to actually set up the, um, the carriage on the, on the bosses without them distorting the rails. And you get binding, especially when you came to towards the ends um, of the of the rails towards the actual X ends. So it's actually upside down what you're looking at now. So I mean, previously I installed this actually in the machine, so I didn't have the whole um, gantry out. Um, having it out, it's brilliant because you can actually really have a look at what's, what's causing problems. So um, previously, what happens if you actually, well, you can see. Um, if you actually um, did the, two, the little grub screws up too much, um, in effect what you do is push the rails uh, out, I think, yeah. or push them in. Anyway, the, the, what would happen is um, the rails wouldn't be parallel to each other. Um, that would have, have probably a slight bow in them. So the, the middle bit normally be good, and then when you get to the ends, they'd bind. Um, on uh, the machine that, we have originally fitted the um, carriage. I actually fitted them actually quite loose because all, technically speaking, we need the um, the grub screws is to hold the stop the um, carriage lifting up. Um, but what I also found is I didn't need them that loose that there was actually a little bit of clay in the Z um, in them. Um, so I knew what I could have a really good look and see how to get on the problem. Now I think on um, a while back, I looked at Win, Win Commander's um, one of his upgrades. I can't remember whether he was commenting actually on the aluminium carriage, and he actually uh, wrapped the um, the bushes in um, in cat time type. Um, and I sort of understand why he's done that now. Um, so I've done something very very similar. Just take out the slack inside the inside the carriage. Um, so I don't. Technically, think it's a design fault in the aluminium carriage that Carl's done. Um, uh, if you wear what's causing the problem, then it's easy enough to rectify. Um, so what I think what Wing Commander did is he took up the slack in um, just by wrapping captain tape around the buses. Um, I might be wrong, but I'm sure it was his machine that I saw it on, um, and now I understand why. So what I did was um, instead of captain tape, I've just used a, a good old Pepsi drinks can, um, chopped it open. To get some um, shims, to make some shims, and I'll just cut, I'll just zoom in quickly. <laughs> okay, so what I did was I cut, um, really easy to do, just cut the, cut the thing open, cut the can open. Cut yourself some shims, yeah, and then I shim all the bushes out the same amount. So, and I put the, the shimming material opposite to the to the grub screw. Uh, if you look here, so the shimming material is actually on the other side. And I ended up putting four pieces of this about I don't know about ten mil square, probably maybe thirteen mil square pieces in there. I don't know whether you can just make them out, um, just on the back surface opposite the grub screw. So, and after each shim, each time I did it, so there's always balance, so there's always the same number. I'd, I'd run it up and down, and the grub screw's very, very loosely in. Run it up and down and check it. Um, so I got to four, yeah, I got to four shims, and then I, what I did was then, I went to each, each of the, uh, there we go, each of the, okay, each of the, um, bushes and what I did was I just tightened them up so okay let's undo this one here so you can see yeah so over here you can actually see you can actually move it up and down yeah and I think 
my previous setup, the only way I could get it to not bind was to actually have these pretty loose because um, it was like scratch marks. You can see where they've been actually scratching on there. But it's only, I had to have it really, really loose um, in order for it not to bind at the ends. So once I got the four shims in, my test was just put your fingers in there. So you're pushing up on the bottom here, up against it, and then push the, the bush from side to side. If you move it, then it is tightening up a bit. So all I did was then tighten them up. Um, so buns tightening them up a little bit of time until you can't actually move the the bush inside the carriage and because I've got the shims behind there now it, the action of tightening up isn't pushing the, the bars out of shape so it's beautiful and smooth you know it's, it really is you know really smooth um, and they're all locked in really nicely there's no play in it, there's no play in the Z, or it's, it's really, really nice. So, yeah, I, I just thought I'd just share what I, what I did to um, sort that out. I'm sure you could actually do it in the machine when it's upside down, probably a little bit harder because you get your, your shims in. Um, but, yeah, so we've got four, just four of these, these shims here in each of the, uh, opposite each of the grub screws for the bushes. And that works really, really well. I'm really, really pleased with it. Um, it's really nice having the carriage out as well because you can really tension up your um, timing belt. Um, I'm not really sure how tight is, whether you can actually go too tight on these things, um, but I've literally done it up as tight as I can. That's, I don't think error it, but that's lovely and tight. Um, that's looking quite parallel at the moment. Okay, cheers.